Hi, I'm Celeste Katz, political correspondent with The Daily News and editor of The Daily Politics blog. As you know, uh, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, a Republican who had been dabbling with entering the 2012 presidential race, has announced that he in fact will not do so, that he has simply too many obligations to the Garden State to go off around the country and leave behind his constituents in an effort to unseat President Obama. Now, uh, Chris Christie Christie has become something of a rising star in the Republican Party, and a number of people had really appealed to him to get into the race, uh, partly because they just like his brash, straightforward style or, uh, as they see it, but also because there are a lot of people that in the current Republican field that they didn't find very exciting. Mitt Romney, Rick Perry certainly has, uh, has had a few problems with some of his issues on immigration and health care as governor of Texas. Uh, some of the other candidates have made gaps or have been generally marginalized and uh, a guy like uh, Governor Christie was seen as possibly livening up the race. He might have also been a choice for people who were not very interested in the current field and were thinking about where to spend their money if they were going to get into the race uh, to unseat Obama at all. But for the time being, Chris Christie, I don't think his political career is over, but he has ruled out a run for president. Another reason to believe that uh, Chris Christie's political life has not come to an end was, you know, how, how obvious it was that he really enjoyed giving this press conference about the fact that he's not running for president. I mean, he is a man who enjoys the limelight. He likes to make jokes. He likes to take on the press. This is something that he really enjoys. I don't think that he's going to be, you know, curled up in the corner of some library somewhere for the next 20 years. I think that we'll see a lot more of him. And part of that is because he just has a natural passion for the world of politics. Uh, he did did have a little bit of a sparring match this week with President Obama where he made a speech uh, out at the uh, Reagan Presidential Library. They took some pretty hard shots at the president. The president came back in a televised interview and said, well, you know, this is obviously red meat stuff that people are going to say in a GOP primary, and it's to be expected. So we did have a little taste of what the race would have been like, but for now, uh, you just have your standard list of candidates, and if there's going to be a late entrant, we are still going to have to wait and find out who it is. But uh, please stick with us for all, all the uh, political news, and uh, stay with us at nydailynews.com.